dolphins and whales. A lot of people think they're safe, that the ocean is full of these beautiful creatures, that measures have been taken over the years to take care of them. But in fact, while some things have changed to ensure the future of dolphins and whales far into the years to come, right now they face some new challenges to surviving and thriving in the ocean. For one thing, the efforts that were made some years ago to stop killing them still have not succeeded in, in, in all. In fact, thousands of dolphins and whales are trapped each year in fishermen's nets. They're considered to be the cost of doing business. More than that, many are caught just through the incidental take of, of trash that's put into the sea, old fishing nets that tangle whales and dolphins. Thousands die this way. They require air, like we do, and when they are trapped underwater with fishing lines or nets, doesn't mean that the fishermen want to catch them, but they do. They simply drown. They die. Presently, that's one of the big threats. But there are other problems that face the future of dolphins and whales in the ocean. Just as we are affected by the toxins that go into the water, to the air, and come back into our, into our bodies, so are the dolphins and whales affected through the food chain, through the fish that they consume and other creatures. They gather the toxins that accumulate through the food chain, magnified many times from the small planktonic creatures that absorb heavy metals, pesticides, many things that we have allowed to flow into the ocean in recent years that accumulate in the systems of really all of the marine mammals. It's not something nice to contemplate that we are inadvertently, not deliberately, but in fact very effectively diminishing the chances that these creatures will survive far into the future. People ask me, and I ask myself, what can I do as one individual that can help ensure the future, the safety of dolphins and whales? And there are fellow mammals in the sea, the manatees. Well, no one is without power. The first thing you need to do is to understand what's going on. Take people to see the fantastic film, the 3D film about dolphins and whales, so they can see the world from the standpoint of the creatures who live there, get people to care. I think the biggest problem is that people think that everything is okay, that dolphins and whales are safe, or they don't think about them at all. But the truth is, dolphins and whales are in trouble, and so are we, because the ocean is in trouble. Their future and our future are totally connected. What we do to the ocean, what we do to dolphins and whales, links back to what we do to ourselves. We can, first of all, become aware. And secondly, we can support efforts to take care of dolphins and whales. Make sure that those who represent us in government make the right policies to have areas where dolphins and whales are truly safe, protect the breeding areas, the feeding areas. There are some places in the ocean that are especially important to dolphins and to whales. Places, just as with wild birds, as with people, where where they go for food, where they have to go to have safe places to raise their young. Gray whales have special lagoons in Mexico where in all of the world this is the place that they must return to for the young to be born and to go through their early stages. The corridors along the coast where they travel on their way to feeding grounds, they need to be protected there and certainly the food sources. We are competing with dolphins and whales for food where they have no choices. We have plenty of choices. We don't have to eat squid. We don't have to eat the fish that these creatures depend on for their survival. We can give their food a break so that we give the dolphins and whales a break. It seems like such a simple, straightforward thing, but most people probably don't think about it in that way. When they order fish or when they look at, at places where squid are common on the menu, it doesn't occur to them that that squid 
that those are little fish that might have fed dolphins and whales. We are competing with the wildlife in the sea when we go out and extract from what amounts to their, their, their kitchen, their refrigerator. So knowing what makes it possible for these creatures to live and taking actions that will protect those vital aspects of their life history are among the actions that we can take to take care of the ocean that takes care of them and us.